One day a young man went to Buddha. He seemed very upset. Buddha asked him the reason. Young man told him that his father has died and he wants to perform best after life rituals for his father. Despite of his father's good or bad actions in his life, he wants his father's soul to go up to heaven. He said, "I could have gone to any ordinary priest, but I have come to you with this request." I want you to perform afterlife rituals for him so that in his afterlife he can gain entry to heaven and permanently reside there. Buddha listened to the man and said, "Go to the market and buy two earthen pots. Also bring some butter and pebbles to fill in the pot." The young man went to the market and bought them, thinking that this was for ritual. The young man filled one pot with butter and another one with pebble and sealed them then buddha told him to put those pot in a nearby pond young boy did as said by him and both pots sank to the bottom of the pond now buddha asked him to bring a stout stick and strike both pots and break them open he did so thinking that now buddha would perform a wonderful ritual for his father As young man hit both the pots and break them open the butter escaped from the first pot and floated to the surface whereas stones from the other pot settled at the bottom Buddha said I have done this much Now call all your priest Let them come and pray so that pebbles can rise to the surface and butter can sink to the bottom Young man replied Are you joking How is it possible It is against law of nature Pebbles are heavier than water They are bound to stay down they can't float Whereas butter is lighter than water it is bound to go up and float on water it cannot go down Buddha replied Young man you know so much about nature yet you do not want to understand the law that is applicable to one and all If your father kept performing bad actions like pebbles and stones he is bound to go down no one can pull him up and if he kept performing good actions which are like butter then he bound to go up no one can push him down this is law of karma our difficulty is we think that some invisible power will somehow favor us even though we do nothing to change our own behavior and our own actions We should understand that this is eternal law of nature. People expect good outcome even for bad karma they have performed. But they forget that fruit depends on our actions. Therefore we must careful about our actions in daily life and always do good in life. Dalai Lama says, live a good and honorable life. Then when you're older you can look back and enjoy it a second time. When you truly understand karma then you realize you are responsible for everything in your life. The universe does not carry debts. It always returns back to you what you gave it. How people treat you is their karma. How you react is yours. If you find this video useful please hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. For more videos keep watching Informatic Couples. I thank you so much for watching this video. This is me Prashant signing off.